Hey, it's Ryan here. I'm here with a new vacuum video for you guys to see. This is a new Dyson Kinetic Big Ball, the animal and allergy model. What makes the Dyson Kinetic different from other brands, maybe like Shark or some of the others, other brands that may use dual or multi-cyclonic designs, is that all others try to lose the airflow or suction power as they fill up. That, well, technically, they don't really lose suction power. They do lose airflow, lose cleaning power. The Kinetic claims that it doesn't lose cleaning power. Now, if you see here, this is what it says. And I apologize for being shaky. I do not have a tripod. But here, let me read this to you. And again, I apologize if my... I'm a little bit shaky. I'm just using a cheap ass camera phone. It says historically manufacturers based no loss of suction claims on IEC 60312-1 clause 5.9. Don't ask me what that is because I have no clue. This suction power can, test can be completed before a vacuum's bin is full. Dyson tests vacuums containing Dyson kinetic science to the IEC blah 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 clause blah blah standard. And then repeat the test hundreds of times consecutively, amounting to equivalent of 10 years worth of test dust to ensure they maintain constant suction. Or, well, proper, technically, airflow. So, basically, what Dyson is claiming, and I technically I believe them, is that their vacuum uses a, a kind of cyclonic filtration technology that is so efficient that it doesn't need pre-filters. How it works is, these cyclones are so small, they have a much stronger velocity or they spin the dirt out much more quicker than, say, dual cyclonic or even multi cyclonic machines or even vacuums like that DC-65 up there. To prevent the, the little cyclones from clogging since they're so tiny, they use little oscillating rubber tips. Um, basically, it oscillates, shake, uh, vibrates, Essentially, kind of vibrates dirt out of the cyclones, and so that way they can maintain constant efficiency, and so that we can maintain constant airflow. And they call it suction. I'm calling it airflow because that's technically the proper term for it. So you can see here, nice big bin. No pre-filters to worry about at all. That filter is inside the machine. It's it's sealed so you don't have to touch it. It also has, you have your two onboard attachments, you got your com combo tool, and you got your stair tool, it's also an upholstery tool. Let me see, okay. The animal analogy vacuum, and I know, let me see if I can zoom this in. I know some of you might not be able to read it, or maybe it's so shaky, I'm gonna try to hold it as best I can. It says, accessories include tangle free turbine tool, combo tool, stair tool, reach under tool, Carbon fiber, dust, soft dust and brush, mattress tool, multi-angle brush, and tool bag. I think the reach on the tool is kind of like a big, like, it's almost like a crevice tool, but it's more flexible. So you can reach under fridges and other really tight spots where you can't reach with a crevice tool. Shark kind of something, kind of something similar. They call it an under appliance wand, but pretty similar. I'll, I'll be doing more videos. I'll definitely do a video on the powered lift away. Not really a comparison. But just showing, you know, showing its features, you know, in the near future. Oh, as you can see, the wand design is similar to what is used on spin flip. What's been used on the DC41 first introduced. Nice long wand. Can reach up or reach down, get into hard to reach areas or surfaces, and let me put my foot phone down. You can take the wand off. This little red power button, the little button here, the red means action. That removes the wand. And so you can put on your attachments directly. Let me show you an example. I know I keep putting down the tap, putting down the phone. My bad. Trust me, when I get a tripod, it'll be a lot easier. Okay? So I put on the combo tool. Notice it's locked on the the cuff. 
It's not like a little fit on cuff, it's a lock cuff. That way the attachment doesn't come off. This is great for removing pet hair. Plus you got a tangle free turbine tool and other attachments that are made to help combat pet hair. Let me put my phone down. Here I'll do it. Here we go, I'll do it like this. See, red button means action. I press this, I pull it off. I can reattach it. Like so. Clicks into place like that. I can take it off. Here, I'll show you the wand. Oop. Okay, here's the wand. Again, the red bat action takes the wand off. You can reattach the wand like so. Oop. There we go. I know. Seems a little complicated, but it's actually pretty easy. Let me press this button here again. I know I'm handing the phone really crappy, so I'm being like, like that. <laughs> there we go. So the wand's back in place. You can't really misplace the wand since it's pretty much part of the vacuum. Steer and ball technology. Notice how tightly it steers. Kind of steers like a sports car. Self adjusting cleaner head, the brush hole can be shut off. So you can use it on hardwood floors. You're getting a five year warranty with this. Five years, that's a pretty long time for a vacuum. Or at least pretty good warranty for a vacuum cleaner. And plus, you get, if your vacuum breaks down, you can get uh, customer support. They have excellent customer support. And if you're concerned about allergies, it's certified asthma and allergy friendly by the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America. And here I'll show you how it runs. I'll pick something up. Okay, I was just showing you, you know, show you how it runs. I didn't see a whole lot of dirt, but I guess this carpet's pretty clean. Oh, let me see. I didn't pick up much, but that's because this carpet's pretty clean. Put this back in, and you notice, here's something you notice. Take it off. Hello. It's a pretty cool little feature. <laughs> I like this. Are you taping it? Huh? Okay. Oh. Oh, no, go ahead. So that's the Dyson right there. I'll show you more videos. Until then, see you next time.